In the heart of the South China Sea, an intense and invisible battle rages between two of the world's foremost military powers. The stage is set with advanced technology, strategic maneuvers, and a game of cat and mouse that could change the dynamics of global power. In December 2023, a pivotal moment occurred when William Coulter, commander of the U.S. Electronic Attack Squadron 136 aboard the USS Carl Vinson, was removed from his post. This dramatic turn of events unfolded as the Chinese People's Liberation Army, PLA, celebrated their success against the U.S. aircraft carrier fleet. This confrontation involved the highly sophisticated EA-18G Growler, an electronic warfare aircraft designed to disrupt enemy radar and communications. Chinese military scientists have now revealed the tactics and technology that allowed them to counter these advanced U.S. jets. This rare insight into the PLA's radar system showcases the use of artificial intelligence, AI, to outmaneuver and neutralize the Growler's electronic jamming capabilities. Manufactured by Boeing, the EA-18G Growler is a formidable weapon in the U.S. arsenal, based on the F-A-18 Super Hornet fighter platform and equipped with state-of-the-art electronic warfare systems. Yet, as recent events illustrate, it is not invincible. The power of cognitive intelligent radar. Professor Liu Shangfu and his team from the Naval Non-Commissioned Officer School in Bengbu have shared groundbreaking research in the Chinese academic journal Radar and ECM. Their work highlights how cognitive intelligent radar can proactively sense the environment, design arbitrary transmit and receive signals, process data intelligently, and schedule resources effectively. This advanced radar system can counter the EA-18G's complex electromagnetic jamming, making it a potent tool in the PLA's arsenal. The Chinese Navy's modern warships are outfitted with a variety of radars and sensors. By solving the bottleneck issues in data transmission and processing, these systems can work in unison, significantly reducing the effectiveness of the growler's jamming. The integration of these technologies enables a comprehensive approach to detection and resource management, enhancing the platform's information control capabilities and shifting from a single resource confrontation to a systematic detection resource confrontation, the kill web strategy. Chinese naval scientists have achieved breakthroughs in maintaining high-speed and reliable communication across entire fleets, even in complex electromagnetic environments. When a growler launches an attack on a Chinese ship, the nearby naval vessels immediately share information, creating a kill web capable of flexibly and intelligently countering the attack. This networked approach marks a significant shift from reactive defense to proactive engagement, using multiple measures simultaneously to counter electronic warfare aircraft. The new tactics adopted by the Chinese Navy are highlighted in an official report on the Nanchang destroyer, which played a pivotal role in these confrontations. The Nanchang advanced 100 nautical miles ahead of traditional formations supported by rear forces to block the U.S. aircraft carrier task force. Despite attempts by U.S. jets to jam the Nanchang's radar, the ship's system continued to function effectively maintaining its lock on key targets. Historical context and technological edge. The intense contest between Chinese warships and U.S. growlers began as early as 2018 during the Trump administration. Initially, the U.S. had the upper hand, but this dynamic has shifted. According to the U.S. Congress's National Defense Strategy Commission in 2022, the U.S. is losing its advantages in electronic warfare, which hinders its ability to conduct military operations against capable adversaries. Chinese scientists have further demonstrated their capability to track U.S. warships using free, low-resolution satellite images. A team led by Hong Jun from the Dalian Naval Academy has developed methods to identify and track U.S. Navy ships by analyzing wave patterns created by the vessels. This technique leverages the distinctive wave patterns each ship leaves behind, akin to fingerprints, enabling the identification of even large ships from satellite images with minimal resolution. Innovation in Satellite Tracking in a peer-reviewed paper published in the Chinese journal Computer Simulation, Hong and his colleagues detail the physical parameters necessary to identify specific U.S. warship models using low-resolution satellite images. By focusing on the wakes of the ships, they have been able to distinguish between different classes of U.S. naval vessels. This method, while still needing refinement, represents a significant advancement in maritime surveillance technology. This technique is especially valuable for nations or organizations without access to high-resolution satellite imagery. 
Platforms like NASA's WorldView provide near real-time satellite images with relatively low resolution, but by analyzing the wakes of ships, useful information can still be extracted. The Chinese scientists' approach involves eliminating environmental noise and enabling computers to quickly detect and identify ships, even under challenging conditions. Honoring the Nanchang Destroyer The Type 055 destroyer Nanchang has been honored as a role model of the times by China's Communist Party for its exemplary performance in several missions, including fending off foreign military provocations during a 2022 exercise in the Pacific. This advanced guided missile destroyer part of the strike group led by the aircraft carrier Liaoning has demonstrated its capabilities in various high-stakes situations. During a training exercise, the Nanchang faced a carrier formation from a foreign country, maintaining combat readiness for over 20 days despite prolonged harassment. The ship's early warning and detection system successfully tracked and locked onto foreign military aircraft, showcasing its advanced situational awareness and defensive capabilities, the Nanchang's operational legacy. Since its commissioning in 2020, the Nanchang has logged over 100,000 nautical miles and participated in more than 10 major missions, including voyages into the Bering Sea, combat patrols in the Pacific, and exercises around disputed islands in the South China Sea. The ship's involvement in the Joint Sea 2021 exercise with Russia and subsequent joint naval patrols highlights its strategic importance. As one of the most advanced destroyers in the PLA Navy, the Nan Chang represents a leap from third-generation to fourth-generation destroyers. Its stealth capabilities and comprehensive armament make it a formidable presence on the seas, capable of air defense, anti-missile, anti-ship, and anti-submarine operations. This versatile and advanced warship embodies China's growing maritime power and strategic ambitions. The future of naval warfare, the advancements in radar and satellite tracking technology, along with the proactive tactics adopted by the PLA Navy, signify a shift in the balance of power in the South China Sea. As the US and China continue to vie for dominance, the development and deployment of cutting-edge technologies will play a crucial role in shaping the future of naval warfare. The story of the Nanchang and the EA-18G Growler highlights the ever-evolving nature of military strategy and technology offering a glimpse into the complexities and challenges of modern naval conflicts. The future of electronic warfare with the EA-18G Growler. As the landscape of electronic warfare continues to evolve, the U.S. Navy is working closely with Boeing on the next generation of the EA-18G Growler. The Block II upgrade aims to ensure the Growler remains at the forefront of electronic attack capabilities well into the future. This retrofit program includes significant enhancements such as the integration of the Next Generation Jammer NGJ, which will replace the legacy AN ALQ-99 jamming pods. These new systems are designed to counter increasingly sophisticated threats by providing improved electronic surveillance, enhanced data links, and advanced jamming capabilities. Boeing's modifications also include the implementation of a new open architecture processor, advanced networking, and enhanced sensor systems. These upgrades will allow the Growler to process and react to threats more effectively, ensuring it can operate in complex electromagnetic environments. The introduction of the Distributed Targeting Processor Network DTPN, and the Tactical Targeting Network Technology TTNT, will improve the Growler's ability to share data rapidly and securely with other aircraft and platforms. This collaborative effort between Boeing and the U.S. Navy reflects a commitment to maintaining the Growler's edge in electronic warfare for decades to come. Thank you for joining us on this deep dive into the fascinating dynamics of electronic warfare in the South China Sea and beyond. We've explored the intricate dance between the US EA-18G Growler and the sophisticated radar systems of the Chinese Navy, shedding light on the technological advancements and strategic shifts that define modern naval confrontations. If you found value in this video, Please give it a like and subscribe to our channel for more in-depth analyses and updates on the latest in military technology and global security. We'll see you in the next video.